Anthony here for D News, and I don't know why I'm still here recording this. Instead of spending these last precious moments with my loved ones, it's just a habit, I guess. I never really learned to live, and it's too late now. The end of the world is not happening, you guys. But let's say that it is. Let's say that Friday is when it all goes down. What would we leave behind? How would we let any future civilizations or travelers know about our history, our culture, our understanding of science? How do you leave an effective message for the future? It's not as easy as it initially seems. You have to leave communication behind in a language that will be decipherable, and it has to be on a medium or in a format that can survive and be accessed. Most of our information these days is kept on some sort of electronic media. And if you've ever tried to track down a buddy with a VHS player or a zip drive to recover some precious memories you found at your mom's place, you will know just how ephemeral these things are. We can't read them now, let alone in thousands of years, especially since optical and magnetic media only last a couple decades to begin with. Even books can only last a couple centuries, and that's if they're properly preserved. So scientists think the answer is one of these. It's a disc made of industrial sapphire, printed with platinum, and then molecularly fused to a second disc as protection. It definitely looks like a relic from a long forgotten advanced civilization based on my academic study of sci-fi original miniseries. Now every sapphire disc costs $30,000 to produce and should last up to 10 million years. So boom, we've got our media. Now how do we make sure people can read it? We've talked before about the golden record on Voyager 1, the one that has instructions on how to use it etched into its surface. The idea is to do something similar, but then give the message far more depth. Scientists are calling it the interstellar Rosetta Stone. Now the Rosetta Stone is that stone from 2200 years ago with a royal decree etched on it. It was invaluable for archeologists because the decree was written in three languages on the stone. One language is hard to decode, but you can use all three together to work faster. Find differences, find similarities, make better logical conclusions about what a word would be. So we do the same thing. We put the same message on the disc a few different ways so these future people have a better chance of reading it. Then we go a step further and we start the message simply, then get more advanced. We teach them our numbers, then our system of math, then science, then language. Baby steps. There are still other problems to be solved though. For instance, where do we keep these things? How do we keep them safe? I mean, you never know how the end's gonna come, so how do you prepare for every eventuality? I don't know, what do you think would be the best way to store one of these things? Let me know down below and subscribe to D News because it might be your last chance. Tomorrow's gonna be our last day of programming. World ends on Friday, you guys.